we're developing an oral drug for what is the second most common dementia, dementia with Lewy bodies. The hallmark of dementia with Lewy bodies is that it's this different form of aggregated protein that you can stain for. And in pathology, you see it inside neurons. You see Lewy bodies also in Parkinson's disease, but in a different part of the brain. First of all, it um, has both cognition impact on the patient, so attention, concentration, are areas of cognition that are first effective, judgment. There's also a mode of dysfunction associated with dementia with Lewy body. So people end up in being in a nursing home about two years after diagnosis, as opposed to Alzheimer's disease, which progresses a little bit slower and, and takes up to four years. And so this therapy that we're developing would be the first one to truly impact the biological process that's happening inside uh, the neuron which is affected, uh, which causes DLB. I'm very excited about the work and that's why I joined their scientific advisory board because they are attempting to fix the brain where the synaptic function is depleted. And that's where the action is in the brain. And the molecule does several things. First, it makes the synaptic part of the brain work better, particularly in regions where dementia is involved. And there's a system called the cholinergic system for which it seems to preserve uh, function for a much longer time than normally seen. The second thing is that it has a curious activation that's anti-inflammatory. And that anti-inflammatory molecule actin, which has been known for years, has now also been shown to be relevant to brain diseases. So we conducted a phase two trial, which is a time that first go into the patients that you're treating here, in this case DLB, so it was a first trial in DLB patients with our drug. And what we were able to see was that the drug has an impact on the way they can concentrate and think better, they can take care of themselves better, and on truly on motor function, the aspect of the disease uh, for these patients that have to do with walking and balance are uh, also improved. And this is a pretty important endpoint because it's really looking at the dementia component, looking at both cognition and function in an integrated way. And it gives us hope that with further trials and confirmation that this is really going at the underlying disease process and this is going to be a robust disease-modifying drug for DLB.